Hello, Owning Toronto followers. We have an exciting announcement. We are going to have a Christmas, Christmas dinner, dinner contest this year. Christmas dinner contest this year. I was just going to say that. <laughs> That's right, we are giving away one free dinner. You just need to tag two friends in this post. You will have until Saturday, December 5th, 11.59 p.m. to enter. We'll put your names in a hat and we'll do a draw to win a holiday dinner for four to six people valued at $220. We are partnering up with a local catering company who has shifted gears during this pandemic to offer fantastic meals at great prices. What started out as something to fill time and put her skills to good use for friends and family during the early months of the lockdown has grown into a thriving business with over 800 followers on their Facebook and Instagram pages. Joining us now is Mick Pollock of Mix Catering. Hi everyone, how are you? Good, good. Thank you for coming on today and thanks for taking part in this. Uh, congratulations on your business. It sounds like you're doing quite well. Um, We've uh, we've enjoyed a couple of your yeah. Meetings. Thank you very much. Yeah, oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, so I guess Thanks I want to being start... such great clients. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Well, you've made some nice uh, intimate. Well, I wouldn't want to say intimate meeting meetings, but we've had some special nights over those dinners. Yes. Sure. Yes. Yes. That's right. <laughs> um, so tell me first, how long have you been doing catering? So I've probably been catering for over 25 years. I started when I was living in Hong Kong in about 1998. Yeah. And then uh, we moved to California where I did a little bit of catering there, but I was raising my children. And then when we moved back to Toronto in about 2007, uh, I restarted the business and it's just been growing uh, exponentially since then. Great. Fantastic. And how has the pandemic affected your business? Well, uh, that's a good question because on March 13, I remember Friday, March 13, I had you know events lined up pretty much until the end of the year. And then on my phone, it was just one email after another and they all basically just got canceled. Boom, 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 boom. Um, uh, I kind of expected that to happen, of course, so I wasn't too shocked, but um, yeah. So uh, for April and May, you know, I collected CERB and sat at home and you know, made gourmet meals for my family every night. And then I decided that uh, we needed to do something. And I thought, oh, let's start a whole meals delivery business and see if people want to buy some of the meals that I've been cooking up. It's pretty much grown from there. So we started, our, we did our first meal uh, on the 1st of June. And uh, here we are in December, still going pretty strong. Nice. And how have you pivoted to keep that business going? Um, really just using uh, social media. I joined a couple of Facebook groups for you know, the East End community online and the Beaches, uh, Riverdale, Leslieville group. And then just uh, through word of mouth through, through our, our friends and, and clients who have actually bought the meals, they've been telling their friends about it and sort of emailing my website and information to their friends and family. So yeah, it's pretty much grown from that. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's a word I'm looking for, grassroots, I guess. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> well, I know that every time that we've ordered, we've always been like, okay, Mick, um, I don't think our picture is good enough. Send us your picture so we can post it. <laughs> and I take terrible pictures too. So <laughs> I'm always hoping somebody sends me a better picture of their food. <laughs> <laughs> How do you choose your menu for the week? <laughs> oh yeah, so usually I think of um, something that I've seen in a magazine or I look online or, you know, I, I follow a lot of uh, different chefs and food magazines and things on uh, Facebook and Instagram. So if I see an idea and I kind of like to build an entire menu around uh, that idea that I had. So I do a lot of themes, as you know, uh, usually, you know, like my meal has some kind of a theme that goes from the appetizer, the main course and the dessert. And so it usually follows some kind of ethnicity. So I like to mix it up with, you know, Japanese, Chinese, Italian, uh, French, uh, whatever. Uh, and then and then I look at the protein that I'm offering as well, and I try to rotate between doing chicken, pork, beef, seafood, uh, fish, and so forth. Yeah, so definitely. yeah, try to mix it up a little bit. Uh, so far, I, I'm on uh, last night we did our 60th meal, and I have yet to double a, a menu. So wow. Great. Um, you know what I really like too is that you cater to uh, people's needs. You do no yes. dairy, you do gluten yeah. free. You'll even yeah. change out the protein if someone can't. You know. Yes. Yeah. We're pretty. So, so I try to keep the main course uh, usually gluten free and dairy free, um, but we are very accommodating to pretty much everybody's allergies. Um, you know, we, we actually will make individual portions for that specific person. 
uh, you know, if they don't want garlic or if they don't want butter and so forth. And your portions are big. I can't oh, say that you, we yeah. always finish them. Eh? Well, I am, I am Chinese. So, you know, I, I have this thing about <laughs> people really need to feel like they got their money's worth for every meal. Yeah. Well, only you can say that. Well done. Well done. <laughs> um, so anyways, as we were talking about just before we came on, we were discussing that uh, Carrie and I are going to give away a $220 Christmas meal of yours this year. You're doing mm -hmm, a, yes. a, something that feeds four to six people. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so uh, we partner up at the St. Lawrence Market Kitchen so that we can do all the prep work and shopping at the St. Lawrence Market. Uh, I used to be a, a, one of their chefs there. We did cooking classes there and things. So uh, I still am uh, quite uh, close with the chef that runs the kitchen there. So we're going to work together to put together uh, pretty much a nine course Christmas dinner. Uh, it, there will be turkey, of course, and gravy and stuffing uh, and side dishes that go along with it, as well as the dessert. Um, I try to put a little bit of like a more interesting spin on every dish that you have. So, you know, instead of just green beans and butter, we're doing a like green beans with a almond tomato pesto. And then with the uh, mashed potatoes, instead of doing mashed potatoes, we're going to do some duchess potatoes instead. And uh, yeah, so make the menu a little bit more interesting. I know with the pandemic, Doug Ford is telling everybody to kind of stay within your own household. So the menus are sort of designed to serve four to six people. Right. Now, I have had some people as well who have emailed me back, some uh, customers who said that they're just going to be one or two people. So I'm actually going to sell the Christmas meal as a half portion as well. Oh, okay. Great. So yeah. we discussed also that we're giving, we're, we're going to give that away, but you've decided that you're going to make an offer to that as well. So we're asking people to tag two people in this who are not currently following Owning Toronto's uh, Instagram or Facebook page. And that's how you're going to enter the contest. You can also tag two people on Mick's Facebook page when she reposts this as well, which you can follow the link that yeah. we have in the comments here. Yeah. And she has agreed to offer. Uh, so I will also draw for a uh, dinner for two. So you'll get the appetizer, entree and dessert. And uh, it will be one that you can go onto my website and you can choose the menu that uh, you want to try the most. Uh, usually I have four to five uh, menus online. There are always meals that come on a, Tuesday or a Friday night. And what about delivery? So you deliver some or not? Yes, so we offer delivery to most of uh, like downtown uh, Toronto. I think it's postal codes that start with M3, M4, M5, and M6. Um, okay. Yeah, and it's a $5 delivery charge. And that money really just goes to my driver for gas and his time. Cool. Great. Right. Okay, um, well, anything else? No, I, you know, I'm really happy for you, Mick. Yeah. I always, yeah. you know, you're a great hostess, always has been, yeah. have been, you've always Thank been you. a good cook. I've known Mick, like, since she was... For years, yes. Yes. A while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, we won't give away our age by saying how many years we actually right. have known each other, but... <laughs> but I've known her before. A long time. You look the yes. same, so... <laughs> so do you, so do you. <laughs> Must be in the water. I don't know. Okay, I, know, well, right? I won't keep you. Thank yes. you so much for joining us. And thanks, Mick. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for uh, inviting me to join in your giveaway. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Can't wait. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, bye, Mick. See ya. Bye. To enter the contest, tag two friends in this post on Facebook or Instagram. You can win Christmas dinner for four to six people, valued at two hundred and twenty dollars from Mix Catering. You can pick up your meal on December 24th, or Carrie and I will deliver inside the GTA. Due to COVID restrictions, we will not be able to travel outside of the GTA. Email, text, and social links are available in the video's description.